Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat. And I'm Raven. And welcome to the second to last of my birthday month collection that we're going to be doing on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so after this one, there'll be one more that we'll be doing on camera. Then we have one that we're doing off camera because it's one we've done previously. So, uh, I don't know. If you want to guess in the comments what soap we might be doing that we have already filmed and have on the channel. I feel like it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> maybe if you're new around here, go check out uh, some stuff around this time last year, maybe. To start us off with, we're going to be doing this one in a slab because it is going to be a low top. And the fragrance we're going to be using today is Bitches Brew, which if you remember our Hot Mess soap, this is the same fragrance we used in Hot Mess. So if you like the smell of that one, you're going to like the smell of this one. And this, I'm going for Crazy Bat Lady today. So this is one that I went through a whole bunch of design iterations and just was not happy with what I was doing. And I, I feel like it's important to note that sometimes there's times as a creative person where you, uh, you do something that you're trying to make for like a certain... Thing, and maybe you don't feel super strongly about that thing, so it just doesn't come out very well. And then you just need to let go of that thing and do something that actually makes you feel good, like your actual aesthetic. So I might throw some pictures up of some of the sketches I was working on. I wanted this to be like classic Halloween, but I hate that. <laughs> it's a bad idea. I forgot my line. Might need that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like, really sat here going through remembering everything and forgot the lie. Certainly going somewhere with no lie. In the bucket, usual round of oils here. Adding in our sodium hydroxide, which is my distilled water and sodium lactate. In case you're new around here, sodium lactate is in there to help the bars harden up and be a little bit smoother. So I am going to pour the fragrance straight in here. I have a plan. And Bish's Brew is very well behaved. Whoa. Go. Nice and liquidy. So first thing I need to do is take my stick blender out. And I'm going to pour off a pretty decent amount into this here bucket. And in here, I'm going to start off with titanium dioxide. Now, I'm not going to bother cleaning my blender. Don't at me. I have things to do. And bringing in the slab mold. It's going to be a lot of switching back and forth here. Just a messy pour real quick here. Okay. Swap that out. Bring that back in, get some more batter. And just the barest, barest hint of black iron oxide. Just, just a little bit, because it goes a long way. Get that blended. So what I wanted to go for with this design is something sort of ethereal, kind of ghosty, sort of, you know, oh geez. I am really into that kind of aesthetic. Oh, crapola. Oh. oh, crap. What the hell? What am I doing with my life right now? What is this that is happening to me? Move that aside. I gotta keep rolling, unfortunately. <laughs> Just a little bit of titanium. Not very much. This time, a little bit more black. So I don't know about you, but I grew up with the original uh, Unsolved Mysteries and like all the old ghost and paranormal shows. And God, I loved those so much. I'm making a mess, but it's just going to have to be the reality of life right now. And I always really liked that sort of ghosty, spiritual, ethereal, just sort of unknown paranormal aesthetic. 
super dig it. What I'm also going to do that's kind of <laughs> antithetical to what we normally do is I just have some clear melt and pour. And I'm going to pour that in too from relatively high because I want it to be, again, that kind of ethereal, ghosty look where there's just little bits you can see through. And some more batter. And this time, no white, only black. So yeah, like, while well, other kids were like, watching cartoons, I was watching paranormal shows. Oh God, I was so into that stuff. Like, I still really like it. Please don't get me wrong. I'm still into it. I just don't have, you know, Saturday mornings to sit around watching paranormal mysteries and things like that. I'm going to have to look it up which show it actually was that I was always watching. I like Tales from the Crypt. That sounds like something you'd be into. I'm sure that any of you that have been around on the channel for any length of time are not at all surprised that I would have been into that kind of thing. So for this color, because my last color is going to be black, I'm trying to make sure I have as little of the titanium left over in the bucket as possible. I'm going to just get the last of this scraped out. I'm actually okay if there's like little chunks here and there. I think that might actually look neat. There we go. So I'm going to let that set for just a second because I don't want to disturb it too much with the black. Well, I was a little bit worried that it was going to be all black on the top and I'm pleasantly surprised that it's not. Because you know what that means. I can do a feather swirl. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. Grabbing just a bit of super sparkles with some almond oil. I feel like everybody that's so used to me being so restrained with the uh, glitter is going to be like, I thought there was going to be no glitter in this collection. <laughs> it's like, I'm not anti-glitter. I just think cat goes overboard. <laughs> but I'm definitely not anti-glitter. I know it seems like I am, but I'm not. <laughs> I just want glitter to be purposeful and controlled. Hey, there's always a purpose for my glitter. What, because you want to? Chaos. <laughs> yeah, that's not really my brand. <laughs> You're Miss, like, un and I'm significantly more Sele. I'm like, rules and honor and... <laughs> I believe in honor. Just my own brand of it. Sure. So I have some little bats to put on top and I have to sort out how best to accomplish this or if I want to still accomplish this. Do I want to still accomplish this? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't be crazy bat lady without the bats. Yeah, it doesn't need to have the bats. That's very true. Whew. There we go. That's some extra bats. But uh, I don't really have the space put extra bats unless I put them sideways like these then they get cut I don't know if I really want to do that or not no I don't want to cut bats you don't want to cut the bats don't cut the bats cut the bats don't cut the bats don't cut the bats all right so with that I don't know I almost want to add more of that glittery go for it I know you're like the last person I should be asking as to whether or not I should restrain like little thoughts of energy Orbs, orb photos. Are orb photos still a thing? Like now that we have a lot more access to digital, I don't know if orb photos are still as popular as they were in the 90s and early 2000s when I was growing up. How are, like, how are we spotting ghosts in the digital age, you know? So it used to always be like, oh, look at this super grainy photo and like, here's an orb. It's a spirit. Which like, I would love to believe, trust me. But uh, kind of hard not to see those. It's just 
errors in the film or like reflections of light on dust. I, I can be a believer and also a cynic. I'm allowed. Okay. I think I'm going to call that good. What do you think? Yes. Okay. I'm going to give it a spritz with rubbing alcohol because it's black on top and when we have the soaps that are all black on top. They tend to ash really easy. And I don't remember whether or not Hot Mess did that when we used this fragrance oil, but I feel like it did. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll turn this around so you can see yon bats. <laughs> All right, so here we are with Crazy Bat Lady. Some of my bats are looking a little like they have given up on life. Let me, uh, let me help you out there, buddy. Get back up there. Keep going. You can do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to fuss with my bats and get them all back where they need to be. And uh, we're going to let this sit for bare minimum 24 hours. I don't remember how this fragrance performed last time in this lab. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but we'll be back in about 24 hours to split this into loaves and then go ahead and cut it. So we'll catch you in a minute if there's an ad we'll let that play and uh, we'll be back. Boy. Welcome back. We have Crazy Bat Lady all ready to go to be split into loaves and then cut into bars. It did ash a little bit, not too bad, but I did already hit it with the uh, steam thingy to take care of the ash. Steamer. The steamer, yeah, there you go. It's a thing that does steam, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you do get ash on your soaps, it's cosmetic. It's fine. It, the soap is still perfectly fine. Um, it's just if you have nice, pretty designs that you still want to see, you just hit it with the steamer and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by getting this split off into loaves. Looks very uh, ectoplasm, which is kind of what I was going for. Spirit goop. Give us the spirit goop. Well, that sounds vaguely sexual. <laughs> spirit goop. I'll take all that spirit goop. Gross. <laughs> Go home, Anna Nicole. I get a rather distinct feeling you don't know what I'm referencing there. Nope. Okay, so you know Anna Nicole Smith, yes? Yes. At one point, she gave an interview saying that she had sex with a ghost. <laughs> you didn't know that? No, I did not. Oh, because yeah. I don't keep up with anything celebrity related. She bone a ghost. So, here's our first one. This is one of the ones from the middle. Should be kind of an interesting cut because of that melt and pour. Normally, you don't really want to be cutting melt and pour with wire cutters. But I'm thinking there shouldn't be enough to cause that big of an issue, she says as she struggles. <laughs> God dang. Jesus. Never mind. God. That took both of us. Oh, man. Well, oh, jeez, though. Look at that. Good lord. <laughs> All right, well, let's pull a couple out of the middle then, shall we? It's so funny because, like, the rest of the bar is so soft. It's mm -hmm. just the top. Ooh. Ooh. I'm completely okay with this. This looks even better than my original sketch. Yeah. I'm so happy with this. Awesome. <laughs> Poor Greg. I'm sorry, buddy. You're so dirty right now. Ow. I wonder if maybe I should try and cut this from the side. Maybe that will be more successful. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. Ugh. Greg is so messy right now. I'm sorry, Greg. Dizzy. Oh no, Greg's gonna need like a serious bath after this. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this one like a so. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, that's way better. Way better. Okay, cool. Alright, here's a couple more out of the middle. Like even the sides look cool. I'm down with that. Look at that. Does that look spirity, sort of 
ethereal, spooky. I love it. I like it a lot. I love it. Ooh, and it smells so good. Yeah. Crazy Bat Lady was kind of a mess. Uh, I'm so sorry, Greg. We'll just let her hang out in her own mess here. Totally worth the mess, mind you. I am so pleased with how this came out. Really, really happy. So, again, these will be available on September 25th, which is a Friday, at 8 a.m. Pacific Time on catandravendesigns.com as part of our Raven's Birthday Month collection. <laughs> Uh, so we hope to see you then on the website, and we are also here on YouTube, where you're more than welcome to comment and subscribe and hang out with us. And then we are also on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Discord, all the usual places. We're, we're hanging out in a lot of different <laughs> venues. So, as usual, we will catch you for another video on either for sure a Saturday, possibly a Wednesday. I don't know when this video is going to go up. But we'll catch you then. All right. Bye, everybody.